Hey everybody, David Lemon here. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about how to work with the text element in Groove Pages. Um, I wanted to record this video because I know that there are some features that not a lot of you may know about, but these are pretty cool and can improve your workflow. So let me just jump into it and show you these tips and tricks that can make your work much easier with Groove Pages. So there's a couple of types of breaks that you can do and what I mean by break is when you want to have different parts of text but you want to have it look different or, or you just want to break up a, a long paragraph and just style it a little bit so I'm going to show you how to work with that. The two types of breaks are a line break using the enter button on your keyboard and then there's a text break which is a shift and enter. There, is a, there are differences and I'm going to be explaining you what those are in this video. So the first one is a line break. This is a simple one. Everybody knows it. When you're typing in, in any text editor you click enter then it kind of creates Creates a new line where you can start typing more. In Groove Pages, it does it does the same thing, but it does it a little bit a uh, little bit differently than the other one. I'm going to explain you what the differences are. So with a line break, it creates a new line, but it acts as a as a new element. I'm going to show you. It's basically you are typing, typing, and then you click enter, and then it creates a new line, but it acts as a completely new element. You can style it differently. That's the second one thing here. Uh, it can be edited and styled completely different from your previous one, uh, from your previous text. And the spacing can be edited using the spacing settings. So let me just jump into Groove, uh, Groove Pages and show you. So let's just say that we have here this um, headline over here. If you click on this one, you can see that this is an H1 tag. So basically that means it's an H1 headline. So if I select this or basically just click on it, you can see that this is a heading one. Uh, let's just make it for, let's just leave it at white, but I'm going to press enter. So enter is this, uh, big button, oops, here, this one on your keyboard, basically the, the big button in the middle. If you are not aware, in certain cases it may say return or uh, break, uh, but in my case it just says enter. So if I click enter, it, it jumps in a new line. So I'm just going to type in here um, text one. All right. So text one, as you can see immediately, the difference here is that it's a P tag. It's a it's a paragraph text. It's not a heading text anymore as it was the, the previous one. It's still in the same element as you can see. Is the, the red border around here is the same element. But now we have a new piece of text that we can write, we can style, we can work with it as a completely separate element. So what this is useful for is in case you want to create something like brand new marketing automation system ranked additional $30,000 in just 14 days um, and you want to say something like completely new method method. All right. And then this doesn't look that good, but you just want to make that a little bit smaller. Now, if you would have the whole thing as one element, it would it would do this. It would basically shrink everything down or shrink everything up. But with this new function, well, not new functionality, it's out there for quite some time. If you select only this P tag, you can style it separately. So it's still the same element, but it allows you to style it differently. So you can create it uh, using a different color. You can apply a different font even of font uh, weight, let's just put it on bold, uh, you can literally apply a different font, completely different font, so let's just use this one. But this is still the same element, so this is the line break using enter, as I mentioned, creates a new line that acts as a completely new element, which it isn't, and it can be edited and styled differently. Now, another thing here is that spacing can be used, uh, spacing can be adjusted using the spacing settings. So let's just say that you want to bring these two pieces closer. This is still one element. You click on this one where it's, where it's yellow. You don't have to highlight it, but you just click on it. And then you come to spacing and you see that there is a margin 20. This means that it's adding margin below. So you click on this white part over here or and you can adjust the margin here as well and you can you can push only the the second part in that text element second piece of text you can push it up and down and you can manage it so it's as close as you want or as far as you want so it's basically you manage the spacing like it's a completely new element all right so that's that's the difference 
there's another type of break which is a text break which is using the shift and in the enter key so the difference is that this creates a new line of text but keeps the same settings as the previous lines and then the spacing spacing is edited using the line height settings i'm going to explain what all that means so let's just say that this was now the heading and i want to start and type in a new piece of text here I know that if I click now the enter button, it's going to go in a new line and, and if I apply any kind of sizing or spacing, it's just, going to, uh, it's just going to manage that one part where I clicked. So if I put my cursor and click over here and if I adjust the, the height or basically the size of this piece of text, it's going to adjust only that part. So I don't want to do that because this is a paragraph text that I want to kind of keep consistent so let's just do this I click over here in this piece of text I know that it's a paragraph text and I click shift and enter all right so you click shift and then the enter key this allows you to manage the text and write more and add more and then you go into new line you can press it two times shift and enter and then you start writing in a new line and then you go lower or you can do like um, different I don't know, bullet list, like uh, thing one or second thing and so on. So you basically create bullet list, but now if you want, you adjust something, like let's just say, let's put the color into green. It adjusts the whole element because this is using the shift enter uh, text break so it creates a new line of text but it keeps the same settings as the previous line so it allows you to manage your text right quickly using shift enter and then you can uh, do everything as in a normal text editor all right so as I mentioned that spacing in between is managed a little bit differently using the line height and the line height is this place over here so if I would go now and let's just say I want to bring these two closer uh, if I would adjust this with, with these settings, it does not adjust the, the spacing in between the text because this is, a, this is one element. It's, it's like a brick. So if you are editing the margin above or below, it's, it's, not, kind of, it's not changing the, anything inside. It's just changing the, uh, the spacing around. So uh, let's just remove all of that spacing. But now if I want to select, for example, this, this place, uh, I can adjust some line height and I can say that there is no line height all right I uh, this is edited on the element basis so if I uh, if I say none or if I say loose then it applying the the styling the the spacing in between the lines using the line height so it's not the spacing but the line height so these are the different breaks that we have in groove pages so now that you know these you can now type in text much quicker or if you copy paste text from somewhere else you can just paste that text in and then using the uh using the different breaks that you now now know about so the line break if you want to style things differently let's just say you copy pasted a, a big piece of text that has three headings for example you can keep it all within one element but when you click the enter button it creates a line break so for example a heading you want to make it bigger and then the paragraph text you want to keep it small then you click enter again and then you make the heading bigger and things like that so it's allowing you to to work much faster all right so these were the line breaks there's another thing that is very useful to know and this is the style uh, styling using oh, sorry so this is when you're styling your text so there's a two p two parts of styling uh, or there are two different ways to style text inside groove pages and one is using the style editor which we call this uh, sidebar where you have the all of these options like text styling background styling border animation spacing and so on but there's another one uh, that there's another way to style text and this is using the text styling toolbar so you can manage some colors here but you can also manage some colors here so what's the difference and i'm going to explain that here in a moment so uh, styling using the style editor this is the right hand sidebar over here this one if you're using that one uh, colors and text weight settings are edited in the sidebar so this is basically something that i just showed but they can be edited elsewhere as well so it can be edited on on text toolbar but once you edit the text and weight settings, these settings are going to uh, be applied 
on selected devices. So this is in terms of responsiveness. So once you're editing something with the right hand sidebar, um, it's going to be responsive. And then if you're editing something with a right, right hand sidebar, the styling is applied to the whole element. So it's, it's, a, it's kind of a global styling. So let me just show you what I mean. Colors and text way settings are edited in the sidebar and this applies to all of the devices. So let's just bring back the things to normal a little bit. So let's just bring it like this. So if you are editing something with the right hand sidebar, this means that all of the devices that have it set up will get it applied. So in terms of responsiveness, you can toggle this switch off and now I'm just going to apply settings for the desktop device, which means that if I select this brand new marketing automation system ranked text and I apply color green, for example, it applied it only on this device. It didn't apply it on the other devices. So this is one of those things that you need to understand. This is the right hand sidebar styling applies things across all of the devices. Um, another thing that I mentioned is that styling is applied to the whole element. So you cannot pick a part of the text like for example here, how to copy our success, for example. If I select this one and I, I go to select the text settings and if I select the red color, it will apply to the whole element and this is for a good reason, right? So um, when you're applying styling, as I mentioned, it applies to the whole element and it applies for the devices that you selected. As I, as I was editing this to be red on desktop, this is how it will, uh, that, how it will show. But there's another thing that you can use, and this is the styling using the text editor, or this text toolbar. When you are styling using the text toolbar, the colors should be used as an override. So let's just say that the brand new marketing automation system ranked an additional $30,000 in just 14 days. I would probably want to highlight part of it, like $30,000 in 14 days. Now I can select this piece of text over here, and since there is already some styling applied here. This is a green color. I have a size 50 and things like that. I can also make some other changes here. Like for example, I want to apply different color for this part that I want to highlight and make it, I don't know, red, for example. All right. And I need to click this check mark. There is another check mark over here. This is when you're applying hex code. And this is not the check mark that will apply the actual setting. This is the check mark that will apply the settings. All right. So now what I did is I, I set up uh, styling for green color using this one. And this will apply on all the devices. But uh, the the red color is an override as i mentioned so these are an override these settings aren't responsive settings these are an override this is when you're using the text style editor so that you can do different parts like this one for example you select one letter if you want and then you want to apply let's just do something like this and then you want to apply uh, a background color of purple to this letter so you can do you can do all sorts of different things. This is an override. But now what happens if I change the color to white? The override stays, but uh, but the change happened on the whole element where there was no override, as you see. If you want to just delete this, if you don't want it, there is this remove the text styling button. So you can just select everything and then it, then it brings it back and now you can style it as it was previously. So the text styling editor is an override and you need to understand that uh, it will not only apply to the devices where you select it, but it will act as an override which will show on all devices. So this is the difference. This is what you need to understand that when you're using, for example, if you want to set up a background or here to this text, it will apply it to the whole element. All right, so let's just apply text of, or basically background, to the part that you selected. Now, there may be now people here that are watching this video confused, like you guys, you, you David selected the whole element, but it applied only to this one. And that's because we separated this piece of text using enter. When you use the enter, it creates kind of a new element. So if uh, I only applied background setting to this one, but not to this one yet. So if I close this one, 
and come back to background settings, you see that there is no, nothing applied. So if I apply to this one, I can completely uh, create a different design because of this line break functionality where I can edit anything completely different than the previous part. So um, that's that's the magic of it. So Groove Pages allows you to do certain things that you may have not known about uh, using these two functionalities. So there is a couple of different ways to style. There is a couple of different ways to create breaks. And there's a couple of different ways to do this this whole designing thing that, uh, that we're about. So now that you know all of these, uh, make sure you use it. So there's two types of breaks. There is a break with enter, which creates kind of a new element that you can style completely differently from the previous one. You can space it, you can uh, make it bigger smaller change colors and things like that but there's another one which just which is useful for when you're creating quick text edits and then you click shift enter and then you just do these quick line breaks then there's the styling using the style editor which is going to apply it on all the devices that you have selected and then there is an override this is for your text styling when you want to override parts of it and then you make sure you click these check mark or the exit if you don't want to apply it you make sure that you click this and then this is going to apply the styling as an override it is going to show up on all devices but this is not something that you can manage all right on this device i want to highlight this part over here in this color but on the other one, I want it different. This is applying it on all of the devices. It's an override. So it's not something that you can make responsive. That's why we have the responsive options over here. So this is the video I wanted to talk to you about. This is the working with a text element. You now know how to style it. You now know how to work faster with this break uh, options. And that's that's kind of a beginning and advanced level so that you can know from beginning what what to do and also if you are already in Groove Pages to explore it a little bit more. All right, that's it. Thanks guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.